Okay guys, so when you are shading a still life, you are always going to have a light source. So in the photograph you have, you can typically tell where a light source is by where you see the highlights on an object. So the easiest way to tell is to look at an object, see what side is the dark side, and see what side is the light side. If this side is the light side, then that's where your light source is coming from, okay? The next thing I wanna show you about shading is a technique that I use that makes it so much easier to get consistency with your objects, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to get your objects so they all look like they belong in the same still life. Here's some examples, okay? So the first thing I like to do is figure out which one I'm gonna start first, okay? And I'm gonna shade an object start to finish before I do the next one. So I'm right-handed, so I would shade my left object first. That way, if I start on this one and then move to this one, I'm gonna uh, smudge this one as I move to my next object. So I want to start on this one, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pencil, so a normal drawing pencil, and I'm going to shade the entire object. a super, super light gray. So notice how I'm holding my pencil. We've talked about this before, so I'm not holding it way down here. I'm holding it really far down by the eraser, <clears throat> and I'm shading really slowly and really lightly. Okay, so I want to just get a really even coat of this pencil shading. And I'm going to keep it all the same. And even if my object has details on it, like even if it has a label or a cap or a stem, anything, I'm going to shade all of that the same light gray. Okay, so once you have your object shaded, you can see I can still see some pencil textures in there. All right, but it looks pretty smooth overall. You don't want your shading to have pencil lines in it like this, okay? You don't wanna see any specific pencil lines. You wanna keep it really blended. So after I do that, I'm going to take a finger or a paper towel or anything you wanna use and smooth over this object, okay? So you can see how that blends it out. Next thing I'm gonna do is erase my edges. So I'm gonna clean up any of that blending that went outside of my object. So now we have this really nice mid-tone gray, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is think about my light source. So my light source is coming from this way, which means this object is gonna have a shadow on this side and a highlight on this side. You should be able to tell this just by looking at your picture of the still life that you chose. So I'm going to start on my shadow side first, and I'm going to darken this up just a little bit. I turn my paper all the time to make sure <clears throat> I'm getting the angles that I want. And I'm pushing my darks of this shadow slowly, slowly, slowly. And you can see I'm starting to get a shadow on this object. Okay, you might notice some other shadows on your object, like because this part is sinking in because of the stem, possibly you have a shadow up here. Possibly your stem is a bit darkened. So I'm gonna do all of this during my shadow part of shading. All right, so this is looking pretty shaded to me. Same thing, I'm going to take my finger blend that out so it softens it. It did come out of the lines a little bit, so that's when you take your eraser and you clean up your edges. Okay, so now we have a really nice shadow on this side. Okay, so now I think about the highlights. So again, my light source is coming from over here. So that means my highlights are gonna be on this side. So I'm going to look at my picture and see where my highlights are and add those in. So I have a nice highlight there 
Maybe I have a striped highlight down the middle. Okay, you have to look at your picture and see where these are. So now, because this side is really light, it kind of doesn't look any different from this next object. But when you start to shade that next object, this is the side the shadow is going to be on, right? So that's going to make these objects stand out from each other. And again, I'm doing a complete overall shading before I do anything. And I'm going to make sure that I cover the entire object very slowly and get an even blend before I blend with my finger. Okay, so now that this is blended, same thing. Smooth it out with my hand before I start my shadows, which would be here, and my highlights, which would be here. The last thing I wanna show you guys is how to achieve a cast shadow, okay? So my shaded side is here. That means my shadow is gonna be going in the same direction. I wanna always pay attention to my light source. My cast shadow is gonna come out from underneath this object. So I always kind of sketch the shape, right? My apple's a little rounded, so this got a little rounded, as opposed to a mug, which would be a little bit more straight of a shadow, right? So I always make this little marker to remind me where it is first. Then, when I'm doing my cast shadow, I really darken right underneath. Okay, so I darken this up, making sure that looks like it's setting my object right on the table. And then I use my pencil and I do a gradient, which means I lighten up my touch and I make it lighter and lighter as I pull away from my object. So this is gonna get you a really nice cast shadow. And then as always, we smooth it out with our finger. Okay, now this needs a little bit of refining. So I'm gonna go back in and crispen up my contour line. I'm going to smooth this out again. And then I'm gonna clean up the places that my shadow went that I didn't want it to. Okay, so that will generally give you what you're looking for when you're shading all your objects. Like I said, do one at a time, do it from start to finish, okay? And work your way <clears throat> towards your dominant hand. So I'm gonna start at the left, work my way towards the right, the darker that your first shaded layer is, the more your highlights will stand out, okay? So if you want brighter highlights, go a little bit darker with your first mid-tone shade. 